Hey there folks, um, I wanted to give you a quick update on the Upper Columbia Sockeye and Summer Chinook fisheries. Uh, today is Friday, June 27th. Um, sorry about the background noise, um, I'm just on the road traveling right now um, in Oregon doing some kokanee fishing. But uh, yeah, so today is statistically the average peak for most years and we did see a really strong surge me starting yesterday we saw 10,000 go over Bonneville and we saw 13,000 today so uh, that's uh, a good sign um, that puts the run uh, at the statistical midpoint um, if they're not late so this is just assuming that everything's uh, running as expected and I still think it is uh, we're at around 85,000 fish so I originally thought we'd get around 150,000, but uh, I think I'm going to push that up closer to 170,000. Um, we may, in fact, get more if um, we see another increase tomorrow. And, and we see several days of more 10,000 fish coming across than they may, in fact, have been late. I still think we're going to come in well under the 350,000 that they forecast. But, you know, if we saw a couple more days of 10,000 plus, we could be looking at closer to 200,000 or more. Uh, but we'll just have to keep an eye on it. Right now, things are looking at least a little better, a little more positive. Uh, so the new regulations did come out, and we do have a four fish limit as it is written in the regulations. Now, in those regulations, there is no announced summer Chinook fishery, so... If they're going to give us summer Chinook, it's going to have to be an emergency opener. There is a meeting on Monday uh, to decide the outcomes of that fishery. And of course, to make any adjustments to the sockeye fishery, if they so choose, they could opt to reduce the limit to stretch out the season on the rooster pool. Or they could just keep it at four and then when we hit our quota, just shut it. Now talking about summer Chinook fishery, um, we are looking like we've already exceeded the forecast of 38,000 fish, uh, and I expect um, we're probably actually going to exceed last year's summer Chinook numbers. We did get a summer Chinook fishery last year, so I'm feeling better and better that we might at least get a limited summer Chinook fishery, but we'll just have to wait and see what comes out of that meeting on Monday. Uh, additionally, uh, you should note that um, for those folks wanting to fish the opener for sockeye on July 1st in the Brewster Pool, um, the thermal barrier did break down during that little cold dip. There was, I think, several hundred to maybe a thousand fish in the Brewster Pool at that time. I assume most of those fish flushed upstream. Uh, but that barrier is reforming uh, right about now. It was 69, 70 degrees last night, so I think it's it's pretty well locked in, but it will dip in the evenings and they will push up. Uh, but we have 100 degree weather starting on like Sunday, Monday and onward in the Brewster area. And I expect that thermal barrier to lock in place and probably be in place for the rest of the season unless we get another massive cold dip, which I don't expect. Um, so yeah, so I still think we're, I'm really confident that we're going to get a sockeye fishery in the upper Columbia. It's not the 350,000, but you know, right now I'm thinking around 170,000 would be my back of the envelope estimate. Um, you should also note that there is a fire burning in the NTAT area, the Pomus fire. Uh, it's going to burn all summer and they're not fighting it. There's 0% containment because of where it's at and it's burning in an old um, fire scar. There's a lot of down wood. So it's a very smoky fire. It's pumping out a lot of smoke down into the uh, Chelan, Entiat, and Lower Methow. And that, that smoke's moving its way out into the Brewster Pool. So if you have respiratory issues, just be aware. Uh, when you come up here, you're going to be dealing with smoke uh, more than likely. All right, guys. Uh, I am doing some fishing uh, this weekend in Central Oregon, and then I'm going to head back up and be on the Brewster Pool on opening day, and I'll give you the next update then from the water uh, and to let you know how things are going. All right. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye, guys.